the experience and joy you get from visiting those paradise islands are extraordinary. Walking the white beaches, smelling the scent of flowers, and diving the stunning coral reefs is a lifetime experience. Unfortunately, last week, a UN alarming report showed that we are at a code red stage of climate change disasters, which is a direct result of industrial fossil fuel emission. This human-made impact is reported to be accelerating much faster than previously thought. It seems we are at a point of no return. Sadly, the environmental effect is irreversible. Let's see the most endangered islands which will disappear, sinking in the ocean. If we fast forward a few years in future, our next generation will only see the ruins of these countries underwater. This reminds me of Atlantis. The legend of a city submerged under the ocean. It was always an eye-opener for me, watching movies about the lost city of Atlantis. I always wanted to go back in time to know what happened to this island. Maybe we will never know, it could be just a legend, out of imagination. However, for those seven paradise islands, scattered across the Pacific and Indian Oceans, we know why they started sinking, and now at a rate much faster than previously thought. Rising water is just one of many scary things that could happen if the ice mountains continue to melt. Flying to our first paradise destination. Republic of Maldives. The popular and beautiful Maldives is a group of islands in the Indian Ocean that's home to many lush resorts and a variety of underwater hotels. Around 600,000 tourists, particularly honeymooners and those looking to live a luxury life, in an overwater bungalow, arrive there each year. These beautiful islands are in danger of disappearing. The low elevation of the islands makes them sensitive to sea level rising. The country's president held a meeting underwater to bring attention to the imminent disaster. Tuvalu. This unspoiled corner of the Pacific offers a peaceful and non-commercialized environment that is ideal for rest and relaxation. The spectacular marine environment, consisting of vast lagoons and coral reefs, all provide a unique South Seas atmosphere. The least polluting country is among the most affected by global warming. The Tuvalu government says, it's one of the most vulnerable places to the impact of rising sea levels, which could bring complete disaster to its 10,000 residents. Seychelles The Seychelles are a group of 115 islands in the Indian Ocean, off the east coast of Africa. Like the Maldives, they have become a popular honeymoon destination. They are famed for their haven-like beaches soft and flower-white, fringed by swaying palms and turquoise waters. The Seychelles are experiencing an unprecedented rise in sea levels, compared to the last 6,000 years. Mangrove forests and coral reefs are also at severe risk. The Seychelles news agency reports that just a one-meter rise could lead to 70% loss of its land mass. Marshall Islands a wavering line of sand and palm trees surrounded by turquoise reefs. Marshall Islands offers unprecedented opportunities for diving and coral viewing. Divers can enjoy the coral peaks, channels and reef points. Used as a ship graveyard after World War II, now also a popular wreck dive site. Marshall Island survived many fierce battles during World War II, could it survive the effect of climate change and the rising temperature of the ocean? Water levels are rising on the Marshall Islands, increasing at a rate of 7 mm per year. Micronesia With untouched beauty that can only be found in the Pacific, this oasis harbors a diverse environment and an ancient island culture. It is a country made up of 607 islands, filled with mountains, mangroves, lagoons, and beaches. Palau's reefs are one of the seven underwater wonders of the world. One can even have a close encounter with dolphins. Due to increasing sea levels, the nation has seen several islands disappear within recent memory, while others have been severely reduced in size. The island's famous non-stinging jellyfish are disappearing, which is also due to climate change. Republic of Fiji 
a tropical paradise, full up with soft sugar sand beaches and crystal clear waters. Made up of 333 islands in the heart of the South Pacific. The islands of Fiji are also low-lying, and vulnerable to changes in ocean levels. The United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change says, many villagers have had to flee, including some from Fiji's second-largest island of Vanua Levu. Rises in ocean temperatures also affect the coral reefs, resulting in coral bleaching. Coral reefs are the first defense against the rising sea level. Solomon Islands The Solomon Islands are comprised of six main islands. They offer a laid-back, tranquil slice of paradise, with huge sapphire lagoons and volcanic peaks. In World War II, Solomon Island was the battleground of one of the most fierce battles of the South Pacific. This is due to its strategic location, and importance for communication and supply lines. The Solomon Islands, are slowly being taken over by the sea. Five reef islands have already disappeared. And global warming will plunge the country little by little under the ocean. What's next? Rapid action to cut greenhouse gas emissions could limit some impacts, but some others are now locked. It's essential now to focus the attention into how millions of residents of these islands can adapt to rising seas and more frequent flood events. Those most vulnerable, without large areas of higher ground, should begin planning for relocation. We are not talking about man-made islands with no population. We are talking about a history of thousands of years, diverse culture and rich history, which will be wiped out in a few years. Did you have a chance to visit any of these countries? Please let us know your experience and comment down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and if you want to watch more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to the channel.